Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to the channel. I'm Nina Baysmore, and if you're one of my students, you found me, and this is going to be a chair Pilates class for you. You know that we're not meeting on site at this time, so I'm making this video so that you can still continue with some of the exercises that we've been doing in the chair Pilates class. That is, offered by the co that is offered by the college. I'm so excited. So again, welcome, and I'll meet you at the mat. I hope you have a chair, have some water, and have your strap ready, and then we'll get started. See you real soon. Good, so you're here, and we're on our chairs, and we're going to do what we always do. Let's come into alignment. So get comfortable on your chairs. Press into the cushions of your chairs, if your chair, of course, is cushioned. And you want to have your back straight, your abdominal muscles are tight, your shoulders are underneath your ears. You want to press your feet, and your toes should be pointed forward. And let's just begin to breathe in very deeply. We want to make sure we take in as much oxygen as possible. We want to exhale as deeply as possible and then we're going to start warming up our muscles to prepare us for this chair Pilates class and so let's breathe in breathe in and let's exhale inhale again and you want to exhale let's breathe in one more time deeply and let's exhale and as you are beginning to uh, get into that position that will enable you to lift the heels of your feet and you're going to be coming up on your toes so our toes of course are still pointed forward and we're just going to lift the heels of our feet and you lift until you are on the joints of your toes and then you bring the heels back down and let's lift again, all the way past the balls of the feet to the joints of the toes. Let's lower those heels. We're just warming up, so you're just lifting. You're still pressing into that chair seat. Lower those heels, and we're lifting up, and we're lowering the heels on our toes again, and we lower. Let's do four more on your toes and you lower on the toes again i trust that everyone is feeling well i trust that all is well and so we're just going to move and let's get rid of some of that anxiety that may be here let's bring those heels together so your heels are now touching your toes are pointed outward slightly toward the right and the left and again your spine is straight let's just Lift those heels together now. Again, they're touching as much as possible. And then you lower those heels to the floor. And then you're going to lift up on your toes again. And then you lower back. Please keep the spine straight. Let's keep those abdominal muscles tight. This is four. And you lower. Let's do four more. Lift up onto those toe joints. And again, let's lift. And we'll do two more. And let's do one more, lift, and you're going to lower, wonderful. Now let's turn those toes back, forward, they're facing forward. Let's get those feet about hip width apart now. And now what I'm going to ask you to do is again, you get nice and up positioned on your seat of your chair. We're going to lift those right leg, the toes are pointed up, and we're just going to lift now the left heel, and we're on the left toe. And we lower the left heel, and we lift again. The abdominal muscles are still tight. Your spine is still straight. So you're just lifting that heel. And then you're lowering it on your left foot. And that right leg is still extended forward. And you're lifting. And you're lowering. And we'll do four more. How's that feeling? Nice stretch. Warming up the lower body muscles. And we'll do one more. Wonderful. So now you'll lower that right foot 
back to the floor. This time you'll raise the left leg and we'll do the same thing on the right. You lift that right heel and you lower it. You come all the way to the joints of the toes. You're breathing in and out deeply, keeping that blood nice and oxygenated. Let's lift. Let's do four more. And we'll do one more. And lower that right heel. Lower the left foot back to the floor. Come back into alignment. Wonderful. And now we're going to allow the feet to be about shoulder width apart this time. The toes are still uh, pointed slightly outward. Let's bring the arms up. Wonderful. And lift and lower. So you're lifting both heels and you're lowering. Still coming up on those toes. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Abdominal muscles are still tight. Trying to keep that spine nice and straight. Please take a break whenever you need to take a break. Let's do eight more. Remember, take a break whenever you need to. You feel those gastrocnemius muscles, the calf muscle. Two more. And final one. Good. So now we'll just turn those toes back. They're pointed forward. Lower your arms very gently. Wonderful. If you need to tap out or move around a little bit, helping with the circulation, uh, that's good. Just maybe tapping the feet a little bit, wiggling the toes a little bit, helping with that uh, circulation, as I said. The synovial fluid, of course, we need that to circulate well in our joints. You want that blood circulating, of course, getting that oxygen to your muscles. So just moving around a little bit helps with that. Wonderful. So now we're going to come into the figure four. And if the figure four is not comfortable for you, this is, uh, this is an option for you. If you cross your ankle, your right ankle over your left, and just pull the knees apart, that will uh, be a little less intense than the figure four. If you're comfortable with figure four, you bring that right ankle up. That right ankle is behind the left knee. You may want to give a little pressure inside the right knee. These are good for, uh, these are a good hip opener exercise. So also if you want more intensity, just lean forward just a bit, keeping the chin out of the chest, spine is straight, and you can just give a little pressure here and hold it, breathe into it. Those left toes are still pointed forward. Wonderful, wonderful. And remember, you want to be relaxed. And we're just going to hold it here. And now if your ankles were crossed, would you uncross the ankle? And if you're in figure four, let's please lower that right foot back down to the floor. You can move around a little bit to help with that circulation in the hip joint. And then we'll again uh, either cross that left ankle over the right or bring the left ankle up behind the right knee. Check your posture, make sure those right toes are on the floor pointed forward. Give a little pressure inside this left knee if that's comfortable for you. And then for more intensity, just lean forward a bit, keeping your chin out of your chest. And we're just holding it here, breathing into it, allowing this exercise to be an excellent hip opener, especially if you've been uh, sitting for a long period of time, maybe driving for a long period of time. It's good to do something to help to keep the hips from getting too tight. Just relax and breathe. And now we're going to either uncross that ankle or we're going to lower that left foot back to the floor, moving around a little bit on the left side if, and that'll help with the synovial fluid circulation. Wonderful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to move up 
and just, again, we're warming up. This is just a warm up. So inhale up with me, stretch those arms up, up toward the ceiling, lower that left arm, and as you're lowering the left arm, lean to the side, just lean over to the side. Feel those outer body muscles activate, just lean. Now the right arm comes down, the, the left arm will come up. Lean over toward your right, just lean, just, doesn't have to be a deep stretch, just enough to activate those muscles. And then the left arm comes down, the right arm comes up, and we lean over to the side once again. Let's bring the right arm down, left arm up, you're leaning again, and one more time, we go over to the left, lean to the left, and one more time, over to the right, lean to the right. Now as we come back to neutral, We'll just lower that left arm, upper body comes back to center, back to neutral. Bring those arms up, forward, extend, stretch forward. Now when you open up your arms, open them up wide, lift that chest, open your chest. And then we're going to round the shoulders forward, round that thoracic spine, and we'll extend the arms forward again. Now we're going to open up the arms, lift up your chest up toward the heavens, up toward the ceiling, and then we'll round forward, wonderful, and back, lift up, lift up the heart center, arms are stretched wide, forward, round forward, fingertips come together, one more time, let's lift up, you're inhaling up, let's exhale forward, all the way forward, hold it here, Arms come up, fingertips are touching, palms are together, hold that stretch, stretch those arms up, let's release and bring those arms back down to our side, back down, wonderful. And now let's press down toward the floor, toward the earth, and release, press those palms again down, and release, and let's press down toward the earth, toward the floor one more time. Arms come up forward, up toward the ceiling, and let's bring them down here to shoulder level. Good. Shoulder level, rotate back. Arms are being rotated back. Please take a break whenever you need a break. Let's go forward. It's good to keep moving. Two more. And now the arms come down. And you can watch this video as many times as you feel led to watch the video. And it'll help to keep you inspired, I hope, and motivated, I hope, and empowered, I hope. Okay, arms come back up. Back up, back down to your side, back together again, palms will touch, fingertips are touching, now press, press those palms together, press those fingertips together, and let's rotate the spine to the right, again it doesn't have to be a deep rotation, enough to feel that you're activating the muscles and that your spine is rotating, rotate to the left, and back, let's rotate to the right, pressing those palms together, press, press, center, and left, press those palms, press those fingertips, rotate to the left, back to the center, let's do this one more time to the right, press, and to the center, and one more time to the left, press, and back to the center. Open up the arms again. Turn the palms toward the floor. Bring those arms down. And now we'll move to the shoulders and we'll be nice and warmed up. 
spread it, shrug up with me, bring those shoulders up toward the ears, bring the shoulders back, open up that heart center, bring them down towards the floor, inhale up, and back, and down towards the floor, two more, inhale up, and back, and down towards the floor, again up, and back, and down towards the floor. Now we're going to reverse the direction of the movement of the shoulders. So it's an inhale up as you shrug up towards your shoulders. Forgive me, as you shrug up towards your ears. And then you bring the shoulders forward and then down to the floor. Inhale up and forward and down. Two more, inhale up and forward and down. And one more up and forward and down. And I didn't mention this earlier, if you're not in my class, uh, you may not be familiar with the strap uh, that we use, and uh, you don't necessarily have to have a strap if you have uh, just a long uh, tie maybe, uh, maybe um, something that, uh, like a scarf, that will substitute for strap. And this is the type of strap that I've been using in my classes. And it allows us to uh, get a little bit more range of motion. It helps us with our flexibility. So again, it's not necessary to have this strap. If you uh, do not use the strap, you can still follow along with us. Just perform the movement without the strap. But if you'd like to uh, use the strap, it does not necessarily have to be the official strap. It can be something that you have that will substitute for strap, and we're going to be using that very shortly. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention so that when it's time to use the strap, if you want to pause this video and maybe get something that you can use, that you'll already have it for you when I get into that uh, time that we're going to be using the strap. Okay, also continue to sip that water. We must stay hydrated. Staying hydrated is so important. So you want to hydrate before you exercise. You want to hydrate during exercise and you want to hydrate after exercise. So if you don't have water, take a moment, go and get some please. Have that nearby you as well. I also want you to please remember, do not tolerate pain. If there's anything that we're doing that is not comfortable for you, that is causing pain, we ask that you not tolerate the pain, either reduce the intensity of your movement or maybe just not perform that type of movement at all. We want to stay safe even while we're getting healthier. And as I'm always saying in my classes, we're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get that strap I, 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 I spoke to you about. I'm going to pick mine up here. And if you're wondering, my strap is about eight feet. So this is about eight feet. And it just allows for more range of motion for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to uh, make some space so that you can stand. And we're going to stand and we're going to use these uh, straps a little bit in a standing position. Okay, I'll meet you on your mat or I'll meet you wherever you're standing in just a moment. Okay, you have your strap now. And we're going to start out in this position. So your arms are outstretched. Make sure that you are aware of your hand placement on the strap. That's going to make it a lot easier for you to perform the movement. And so what we're going to do now, we're just going to raise our arms up overhead. Just stretch up. And then we're just going to bring the arms back to chest level. And let's raise those arms up again. Stretch up. And we're going to bring those arms back. The arms come up overhead one more time. And then as you bring your arms back to chest level, we're going to hold it here. And I want to share with you, we're going to be bringing our arms up and behind us. You are going to decide where you're going to stop with the movement of your arm. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to raise my arms up, overhead. You can bring those arms back behind you. You may want to stop here. If you prefer to stop here, stop here. 
If you prefer to bring those arms down a little bit more, you bring those arms down as far down as you feel comfortable. And then you bring the arms back up, up, we stretch up, and the arms come back forward, and we bring them down. So it'll look like this. We bring the arms up, stretch up. You decide how much you're going to bring those arms back. You can stop here, keep going. It's up to you. Feel those muscles in your arms, the biceps and the triceps as well. Up, stretch up, forward. Arms coming down. Take a break whenever you need to. Arms come up and they come behind us and they come down behind us. You decide where to stop. And let's do one more overhead. Up, up, up. And over. Feel those muscles. Take a break if you need to. And so you're feeling the muscles on the side of the body. Remember the intercostal muscles are the muscles that are housed within the rib cage. They're very instrumental in our, uh, in our breathing technique. You'll feel those, uh, the muscles, the latissimus dorsi, some pronounce it latissimus dorsi, that start here and move all the way down to right above the hip. You can feel that uh, movement of those muscles. You have those, uh, the shoulder muscles and the upper back muscles and the chest muscles. So we're activating many muscles with these movements. And now with your strap again, we're going to just again place our hands in a very comfortable position. And this time we're going to raise it up above head and we're just going to lean. We're going to stretch to the side again. You're feeling those muscles again. It does not have to be a deep stretch, just enough to feel those muscles. And then you come back up and then there's a nice stretch to the left side. Feel those muscles, feel the muscles. Good. Feel the stretch. Let's go over to the right side. And back up. Left side. And back up. Over to the right. Back to center. Let's do the left side. Back to center. Last time to your right. Center. And last time to your left. Nice stretch. And back center. Bring those arms forward and down. Give yourself a little rest. Move those shoulders around a little bit. Get that synovial fluid that's circulating. Get it to circulate even better upon that movement. Wonderful. Great. And so what we're going to do, we can do a very deep bicep and tricep stretch as well. If you want to bring that strap, so if you hold it in your right hand, and if you want to bring it behind you down the center of your back, and just bring your left hand and find that strap and you're going to bring the right hand and the left hand as close together as possible and you'll feel a nice stretch. Now if you're not using a strap, if you're not using a strap, then what you can do is you can just raise your right arm up, bring those right fingertips to the left shoulder and then raise your right arm up and just give a little bit of pressure to that right elbow and you're going to feel those biceps and those triceps stretch as well. And then when we switch hands, you'll just switch your arms as well. So we're right here. The right elbow is bent. That right hand is behind us. It's grasping the strap. And our left elbow is bent. The left hand is behind us. And it's grasping the strap as well. And the hands are as close together as possible and we hold that stretch. Our toes are pointed forward. Our hips are over our knees. Our knees are over the ankles and our shoulders are underneath the ears. Let's release that. So you'll release your left hand and you'll bring that right arm 
and you're just going to now just grab the strap with the left hand, bring that strap behind you, so your left elbow is bent, drop that strap down, your right hand, you will bend that elbow on the right arm, find that strap behind you, and just bring the left hand and the right hand as close together on the strap as is comfortable with you for you without tolerating pain. So you'll feel a nice stretch in the tricep, bicep, and other muscles. Hold it here. Your abdominal muscles, once again, are nice and tight, and you're in alignment. Let's release that. So you release the right arm first, right hand first. Bring that left, good, back. And so if you want to move those arms around a little bit, move the shoulder joints a little bit. Good. Wonderful. So how are you feeling? Good. Glad to hear that you're feeling well. <laughs> I can hear it in my spirit. All right, good. Anytime we move and we stretch, as long as we're not tolerating pain, we are feeling well. We're feeling better. And that's what this is all about. Doing our best to stay as healthy as possible. So I'm going to ask you to uh, get your chairs again. I'm going to just uh, place my strap over here. And um, as you get your chair again, we're going to be behind the chair. So you're going to see me moving my chair. So as you're getting your chair nice and positioned, I'm going to move my chair. And I'm just going to be right behind the chair here. And we do this in class, as you know. So as you get nice and situated and you're behind your chair, you want to make sure that you have a nice, sturdy chair. You want to make sure that the chair is not going to move. We want it to be nice and sturdy. This is about safety as well. So please make sure that you um, have a chair that you uh, can trust, that is not going to move around and uh, get it in a position that it will hold you. And then once you feel comfortable, please just place your hands on the back of the chair. And then once you have lightly placed your hands on the back of the chair, you stand behind the chair. We're gonna come up on our toes. So as you inhale up on your toes, you feel those gastrocnemius, those calf muscles stretch up. And then you're gonna come back on your heels. Your elbows are to your side. Now you're on your heels and your toes are pointed toward the ceiling. You can feel the back of your thighs, those hamstrings. Inhale up. And let's exhale forward. And we inhale up. And we exhale forward. A nice stretch, nice tall stretch. Inhale up. Stretch up nice and tall. And then you exhale. And really press those glutes behind you. So again, we're going to inhale up, nice and tall on that inhale up. Let's press back on those heels. Wonderful stretch, inhale up again. Abdominal muscles are tight, press back as you exhale. And we'll do one more, inhale up. Wonderful, and let's exhale. Bring those heels to the floor, toes are up toward the ceiling. Lower the toes, come back to a standing position. Great. And so now what we're going to do, this is something we do in the class. Uh, you know that this is considered to be a, a, a power posture. So we're going to be extending. I'll turn my chair around and you'll be able to see a little bit better. So we're going to extend that right foot behind us. Extend your right toes behind you. Extend your left arm forward. Lift up that right leg, toes are pointed toward the floor. Your left knee is slightly bent. Now, if this is too much for you, just keep your toes on the floor. And don't lift the leg if this is too much for you. And we'll 
we'll lower that right foot back to the floor, lower that left arm. Good. Again, if you have any type of pain, please do not tolerate the pain. If you have any type of uh, low back challenges, then this may not be the posture that you want to be in. Maybe you just want to keep your toes in the floor just like this. We're going to lift up and extend that right arm forward. Ten more seconds. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good. So move around just a little bit. Remember the movement helps the synovial fluid. Think of synovial fluid as oil for the joints. And so as we move, that synovial fluid circulates better, makes the joints feel better. Of course, that makes moving a lot uh, less challenging. So you want to keep moving. And think of the joints in your fingers. Think of the joints in your toes. Think of your ankle joints and your knee joints and your hip joints and again, shoulder joints. Just think of the joints within the body and you want to move those joints throughout the day and that will help to keep you uh, moving a lot easier and we want to move after sitting for about 20 minutes. You probably want to get up and do some moving. So try not to it any longer than 20 minutes without moving. So let's get back behind the chair again. Take your time. And once you're back behind that chair again, I'm going to move mine up a little closer. Get a little closer to you. All right. So we're not in the classroom. We're usually in the classroom. We're not in the classroom. So we're going to do the best that we can with what we have. And so um, as you're getting acclimated to your space uh, and getting comfortable, of course, then I want you to come back behind the chair. You're back behind the chair. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's stand behind that chair. And I'm going to, going to demonstrate what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be lifting uh, our heels and we're going to be engaging our shoulders and we're also going to be uh, bending our knees and we're going to be moving forward. And so as we are lifting up onto our heels, our shoulders are being engaged. They're moving. The knees are bent. And we're pressing back. So as we press back, you can feel your glutes. You can feel the back of your thighs, your hamstrings. You can feel your quadriceps. Abdominal muscles are tight, so you're coming up on your toes, and then you're bringing the foot back to the heel. It's right and a left. Shoulders are moving, and it doesn't have to be a fast movement, but if you prefer, you can move a little bit faster. So maybe think of yourself, perhaps, um, maybe on a stationary bike. So just moving and getting those lower body muscles, once again, engaged in the movement but really pressing back those glutes. So let's do five more. Move those shoulders. This is two. And three. And four. And we'll do one more. Wonderful. Good. So now just come back. Both heels are back on the floor. And just wiggle the toes a little bit. And maybe rock back and forth. Toes. To heel and if it's more uh, comfortable for you just hold the back of the chair wonderful one more time on your toes and last time on the heels just lower those toes our feet are flat once again the toes are pointed forward standing behind your chair we're just going to uh, make some lateral moves so you just want to raise that right leg to the side the knee is slightly bent and we're just going to move up. We're going to raise and lower that leg on the right side. 
Take a break when you need to. You may need a break. Take a break and then come back in. We're going to do five more. Four and five. Lower that right leg. Again, move it around. If that's comfortable for you, move that right leg around. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side. You ready? Good. Right knee is slightly bent. Left knee is slightly bent as well. Raise that left leg. And we're just going to raise it and lower. Right toes are pointed forward. Abdominal muscles still tight. And we're smiling because we're getting stronger. We're working on balance as well. Let's do eight more. One more, good. Let's lower that foot back to the floor. Shift your weight around a bit. Wonderful. And we're gonna do the same thing. At this time it's going to be on the right side as well, but we're going to have that leg extended behind us. Left knee is bent, and you're just gonna raise that leg and lower it behind you. So you're lifting your right glute at the same time. Your toes are pointed toward the floor, and you're raising up that leg, and then you're just lowering it. Breathing in and out deeply. Four more. And the last one. You just lower it. Good. You ready for the left side? Ready? Make sure that right knee is slightly bent. Let's lift that left and raise it and lower. Toes are toward the floor. Lifting the left glutes this time. So you want to feel the glutes lift as you're raising up that back leg, the leg in the back, which is the left leg at this time. I'm going to be doing four more. One. And the final one. Wonderful. That left foot comes back. We're always shifting from side to side. Always finding your center of gravity. Good. How are we feeling? I'm going to keep asking you that. You know in the class I ask you how you're feeling. I'm sure you're, and once again, that you're feeling just fine as long as you're uh, following along with me and really taking seriously the advice that I give about taking a break when you need it, drinking your water and those kind of things. You're doing really well. I'm glad you're here. Um, you don't have to be here, but you're here. So I'm glad you're here. We're going to continue on. So what we're going to do before we take our seat is we're going to go into two more uh, postures that we have found to be very, very uh, instrumental in helping us to strengthen um, our overall body. We're going to be using almost every muscle in the body. So what you're going to do is you're going to allow your right toes to point forward. So they're pointing toward the right. And then the left toes are pointed forward. And the right knee is bent. Find your balance, your center of gravity. And then once you find your balance, that's when you raise your arms up about shoulder level, and then you look over your right fingertips. So turn, look over your right fingertips, your fingers are spread, find a spot on the wall, and just hold your gaze there. So again, your right knee is bent, the right toes are pointed toward the right, the left toes are pointed forward, your shoulder, your arms are about shoulder level. Now let's raise those arms up toward the ceiling. And if you'd like to bring the fingertips together, that's fine. You can continue looking to the right, or you can look forward. It's up to you. Now let's bring those arms back to shoulder level. Bring the right arm down so that the back of the right hand is inside the knee. Turn your torso a little to the left. 
raise up that left arm and either look to the hand, the left hand, or look forward. You decide where to place your hand. If you would like a little more intensity, bring the hand down below the knee, inside the knee, or less intensity above the knee. It's up to you. Now lower that left arm, release your hand from inside the knee, below it or above it. The right toes turn forward and you step together. Move around just a bit. Remember the movement is what helps the flow of the fluid. And now you're going to be about, your feet are about shoulder width apart. Open that left foot so the toes on the left foot are pointed to the left. The right toes are pointed forward. Please bend your left knee. Good, find your center of gravity. That's when you raise your arms to about shoulder level. Spread your fingers and you're looking over your left fingertip. Find a spot on the wall. Hold your gaze there. Now let's raise those arms up, bring those fingertips together if that's comfortable for you, or you can just have them a few inches apart. Line up your biceps and your triceps with your ears. Now let's bring that left arm down, the back of the left hand, is either going to be below the left knee, inside it, or above, you decide. Twist your torso to the right, and you're looking at your right hand, or you're looking forward. It's up to you. and lower that right arm. Release that hand from either below the knee, inside it, or above. Turn those toes on the left back forward. Step back together again. Move around just a little bit. Shift your weight from side to side. Good. Move the shoulders a bit, hips a little bit, knees, and the ankle. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we're going to take our feet again. We're going to get back into the chair. Remember that this chair Pilates. And so if you're not comfortable standing, the exercises that we perform standing can of course be done seated. So if you ever decide to just remain seated during the entire video, that's fine. You're still going to get benefits. So as you come back to that seated position, always check your alignment. You always want to be in a position of having your feet about hip width apart, toes pointed forward, spine straight, shoulders up under those ears. Good. And you always want to be as relaxed as possible. And once you find yourself back in that alignment that you need to be in, we're going to raise both legs and both arms at the same time and let's rotate the ankle and the wrist. It's an outward rotation. Just the ankles and the wrist. We're rotating outward. So you want to keep the arms and the legs as stable as possible. And stop. And let's rotate inwardly. So the toes and the fingers are coming toward the midline of the body and the arms and the legs are stable. Let's hold it here. Let's flex. So we're flexing the feet and the hands. Let's point and flex and point and flex and we point and flex point, flex, point, 
One more, flex, and one more flex. Lower your feet, good. Lower your arms, slide the feet back toward the body. That should bring you back into alignment. Good, hold it here. Wonderful. All right, so we're gonna bring our arms back here. And you're ready? We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So we're just lifting the heels off the floor and we're lowering. Lift and lower. You're bringing those lifts all the way to the toe joint and you're lowering the heel to the floor. Lift and lower. Eight more. A lift and a lower is one, three, five, seven, and eight. Good. We're not done yet. Bring those heels together. Toes are pointed outward slightly. Lift and lower. And lift, lower. If you need to take a break, once again, take that break. Lift and lower. Abdominal muscles are tight. Keep going, keep going. Eight more, one, and three, and five, and that's it. Lower, hold it here, check your posture. Now let's take those feet out a little wider. You'll have to get positioned during the chair again, okay? And the same thing, lift and lower. Now you'll feel those gastrocnemius muscles even more. Those are the calf muscles. And you lift, you should feel those abdominal muscles as well. And you lift and you lower. Eight more. And final set, wonderful, good. So bring those toes back, they're pointed forward, back to about hip width apart. You can lower those arms now, maybe move them around just a little bit. Move them around gently, good. All right, good. So we're gonna go back to lifting that right leg. You ready? And lift and lower and lift. So you're lifting that left and lower. Keep that right leg up. Four more. And final one. Lower that right leg. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. The left leg. Left leg comes up. Lift and lower. Eight more. And that's it. Lower that left. Good. Wonderful. Now if your strap is still near you, just want to grab that strap again. And what we're going to do is just place that right foot inside the strap. And you can bring your hand a little closer to the foot, holding the strap, check your posture. Your left toes are pointed forward, spine is straight, and you lift your leg, nice stretch for that right leg. You decide how high you're going to lift it. You may want it about here. That's fine if you want it up a little higher. The position of the hand will help to determine the lifting of it. So just hold that stretch here, hold it, press that left foot that's on the floor, into the floor, check your alignment, hold the stretch, 
Take a break when you need to. And let's release. So you release that right leg. We'll do the same thing on the left. That left foot. And you're going to raise up that left leg. Check your right foot. Right toes are pointed forward. Find it straight. And you're just going to bring that hand close to the foot. And you're just going to hold the stretch. Nice stretch. And we're going to lower that. Good. Wonderful. So you can just release that right, that right, uh, that, forgive me, that left foot from inside that strap. Good. So that's a nice way to um, help with your stretches using these straps here or whatever you're using to help you. So we're going to get ready to end the class. And so again, always coming into alignment as we end the class. And as we end the class this time, I'm going to ask you to inhale up, bring your right arm up, up toward the heavens, up toward the ceiling. Bring that right arm behind the back of your chair, if that's possible with the type of chair you're using. Bring the left arm across your body, and then look over your right shoulder and hold it there. So you're looking over your right shoulder, and you're holding the posture, breathing into it. Now let's release that arm from across the body. Release the arm from behind the chair. Now your back centered. Inhale, lift up the left arm. Bring that left arm behind the back of your chair. Twist your torso to the left. Bring the right arm across your body. Please look over your left shoulder. So you're looking over the left shoulder and hold it there, please. Hold it there. And release the right arm from across the body. Bring that left arm from behind the chair and you're centered back in a neutral position again. Hold it here. Good. Inhale up with me. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up, stretch up, exhale, bring those arms back down, bring them forward. Now as you bring them forward, fold forward. So fold forward, bring your chest as close to the floor as possible, stretching that back, just fold forward, palms are facing, stretch forward. Now bring those arms behind you. And you're going to just lift up. Your palms are facing the ceiling now. They're facing the heavens. And bring the arms forward again. Stretch forward. Keep that back flat. And arms come behind you and lift up. And one more time. Forward. Stretch. Flatten your back. Stretch that lower back. Bring the arms up behind you, palms are up toward the ceiling, and arms come to your side, come back to an upright position. Wonderful. Move around a little bit, shrug up, then press your palms toward the floor. Shrug up, toward the ears, press the palms toward the earth, toward the floor. Shrug up, as you inhale, Exhale and press down with the palms toward the floor. One more. Inhale. Shrug up those shoulders and press down. Wonderful. Wonderful. Move around a little bit. Inhale up with me again. Bring those palms together. Those fingertips come together. Come down the midline of your body. All the way down the midline of your body. 